What's up guys, Lego Kid here and welcome back to the channel with my first ever video for 2023 and it turns out on New Year's Day, Lego actually leaked the new Lego City stunt sets for this year. So we have four new sets that are all going to be coming out on March 1st and we already had our first look at the two new stunt bikes that go along with this wave but those two sets already came out. But anyways, uh, the first set we have on the list is set number 60357 and also called the Stunt Truck with Fire Tire Challenge. Now this set will be retailing for $60 in the US. This set will also contain 479 pieces and along with three minifigures. So first off, um, for what you get here in this set, I would say, you know, overall this set is pretty decent. So we do have a build for a stunt truck. So I do like the crazy look for the cab and the trailer, but we've already gotten a stunt truck before in one of the previous waves for um, stunts here. And fun fact, I actually got that set just recently, but I still do really like the look for the truck itself and also the use of those new flame pieces too, which looks so cool. And at the back, there's also three stunt hoops as well. So I guess you have to make the motorcycle go through all three loops just to, um, I don't know, complete the challenge. And the set does include a flywheel motorcycle. Now the motorcycle does have some new tire parts to it, but the motorcycle body itself is not new. And then the set, we have three minifigures. One is a firefighter, and then we have two stunt riders. So both of them do have new torso prints and also new hair pieces. And then next up, we have set number 60359 and also called the Dive Challenge. Now this set will be retailing for about $20 to $30 in the US. This set will also contain uh, 144 pieces and along with one minifigure. So I would say this set is also pretty decent. I do like the feature where you can make the hoop uh, lay on its side or also, you know, stick right up. But I also really like the new mold for the motorcycle piece here, which makes it look like a Vel Velociraptor from Jurassic World. So yeah, I really like this new um, stunt motorcycle body piece and the minifigure also looks pretty cool. And I also really like the build for this stunt challenge here with a new recolor of the ramp piece in purple. And yeah, I like the entire concept and it looks like a pretty cool set to get. And then we have set number 60360, the Circular Tire Challenge. Now this set will be retailing for about uh, $45 in the US. This set will also contain 117 pieces and along with two minifigures. So when I first saw this set, it instantly reminded me of the stunt competition set from 2021. So that's kind of like the feel of what I see here. I do like the feature where you can switch the two hoops. We get a purple one and a uh, orange one in this set. And there's also two different colors for the stunt ramps, one in purple, one in orange. And there's also two motorcycles as well. And the minifigures look pretty cool too. And they actually give me a Nexo Knights feel, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I do like everything that gets included in this set. So I may, may or may not end up picking up this set. But for $45, uh, I don't know if the price really fits it. But I mean, it's still, it's a really cool set to get. And then finally, we have set number 60361 and also called the Ultimate Stunt Driver Challenge. Now, this set will be retailing for $100 in the US. The set will also contain 385 pieces and along with four minifigures. Oh boy. Okay, so this is probably the one set out of this entire new wave for LEGO City that disappoints me a little bit. First of all, the price, $100, that's pretty insane for what you get here. I mean, I do really like the builds and stuff with the um, concept of the of the stunt challenge here, but $100 is a little bit insane. Some of the stunt sets over the years have been getting uh, pretty priced, but um, whatever. Anyways, um, the build we have here is this stunt loop, and ju just like the stunt loop that came out uh, for last year, and then we also have a stunt hoop as well with some electric sparks on the side of it, and then we have this 
cr pretty crazy looking stunt tower where you can make the motorcycle go up it and try to knock down that UFO at the top. So yeah, I do definitely really like the builds for everything you get in the set. Not only that, but the minifigures are also pretty cool. So we have this um, stunt show host, and then we also have a photographer in the set. And then we have two stunt drivers as well. So yeah, um, this set overall is pretty decent, but 100 bucks, yeah, this is going to be a hard pass for me. But anyways, that is pretty much it for all of my thoughts on the new LEGO City stunt sets for this year. Please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more set reviews to come. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one.